Welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. Alright, we are on episode 4. So, we are now going to find out why the rivers are polluted. What is happening? Why have the Daurhan polluted the rivers? As you can see, they're burning things in these furnaces everywhere. Yes, dwarves like to craft, but the Daurhan are even more messy than normal dwarves. At least normal dwarves don't keep their water source clean and their air nice. Yeah. Should be the goal of our, all countries in our world, too. Alright. By the way, no, we're not going into crazy environmental stuff. I'm just saying it's nice to have clean air and clean water. Everyone agrees with that. I don't think anyone doesn't agree with that. You know. Alright. We're going to go up this hill. So look, at they're mining into these mountains. Darhan Axemen. Oh, oh, they're not going to be happy with me here. I might have to fight some of my own kind. Well, they're not from my background. I mean, dude, these furnaces are freaking loud. Can I, like, turn them down? I mean, what are they? Holy moly. We gotta, we gotta figure out which one this is. This is, a uh, Sound effect. That was, um... Those things are loud. Let's turn those babies down 50%. All right. So defeat gods. Oh, 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 oh! He's trying to get me. No, 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 no. Back off! Back off, you horrible creature, you. All right, he's defeated. I just put him to sleep. Don't worry, you guys. We didn't kill him. We defeated him. Oh no, they're enslaving archers. Hey guys, look, it's Elro here! Oh. An elf stands atop the mountain pass, and he looks very much like Elodin. Maybe that's because they're twins! Right, as we all know. Alright, we're supposed to defeat two more guards, and then we probably talk to him. They're trying to streamline the quest. Okay. Ah, I'll try not to flip the screen around, sorry guys. You can get sick if I'm doing circles. Should I go inside my head? Alright, we have defeated them. Now it says talk to Elro here, the brother of Elodin. Those are ill tidings. Those are ill tidings. The dwarves with Dwalin drank from the river river water below, you say? This is ill tidings. The creatures here are transformed by the plague and look as if they will die very soon. I came this way to scout for signs of my father's dream, but the grim dwarves have kept me from getting much farther. Something evil stirs in the cave. Can you feel it? I believe there may be hope for the sick dwarves yet. yet. I believe there may be hope for the sick dwarves yet. Zolin, when poison seeps into the land, oftentimes the land will strive to heal itself, much as our own bodies will fight infection. If you explore inside the mountain, you might find just such an event. I believe that medical plants will grow inside, and those will help to cure the dwarves, but the source of the poison itself is yet to be discovered, though I have my suspicions. I feel a powerful chill when I stand near the entrance to the mountain. I will stand guard here while you explore the cave. Alright, yes, don't let anyone come get me. We're going in, boys. What is this cave called? The Murkstone Tunnels. Sounds like a good place to get murked. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh my goodness! Uh, you guys, that's a skeleton. Yes, Tolkien's lore does have things like that in it, by the way. If everyone remembers the Barrow Downs with Tom Bombadil saving the hobbits in the Fellowship of the Ring, which was not in the movies, but I understand why they didn't put it in the movies, but I think it would have been cool. But I think it would have made it a little too dark, maybe, for what they wanted, because undead zombies, Barrow Whites, skeletons, you name it, ghosts. A lot of evil things throw down. Courtesy of the Witch King of Admar, of course. The Witch King! Ah, 
Magma. Assuming a voice like being like that, maybe a little lower. The Witch King of Magma. Sounds like more he's far away though. Man, we'll figure out a voice for him later. Oh, I'm supposed to collect these things. I'm only supposed to kill these guys. I'm having way too much fun making the Witch King of Magma. Kind of sounds like his voice is being strangled. <coughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, we collected a healing herb. Is it King's Foil? Well, it just says medical herb, so probably not King's Foil. I know when you play as humans, you guys, if you start a human, they, um. Oh, if they don't attack, I can walk by them? Oh, sweet. Oh, they. Oh, sweet. I don't have to. I can just ignore them. Oh, Fantastic. I can't ignore that ghost, though. Holy crap. That spirit. It's alright. This is one thing where my, my music really stands out. Like, it's light damage. There's different types of damage in the game. And since my dwarf has light damage, I'm assuming it does more damage to ghost types. I'm sure it does. Cut you with my magical axe. Alright. We need one more herb. There it is. Look at that. These little dwarven mines. All right, examine the cave that might be causing. Okay, might be causing the blight of the Ered Luin. In Ered Luin. Everyone, what is Ered Luin? The Blue Mountains, obviously, where Thorns Hall is, and a couple other elven places, including the. Ered Luin also has uh, Linden in it. It has Harkal, it has the Grey Haven, right? Linden, Harlan, I can't think of the name, it's an H. I think that's what it is, but... Uh, I wanted to increase the UI settings for the quest. You guys can actually read the quests with me. Where are our quests? Will uh, floating text increase? Uh, maybe it's under... Tooltips... Here we go, let's see, can I increase quest tracker? Quest tracker, there we go. There, now it might be a tiny bit blurry, but now you guys should be able to see those words a little better. How's that? Yes, I think that is much better. Examine the cave and what might be causing it. You can, since I'm on a big screen and you're seeing it all in 2K, I noticed that sometimes it, um, we have a problem of things being, um, well, I'm trying to say uh, they're too small from the game because it's assuming you're on like a 1080 instead of like a 32 inch screen with the... okay here we go we're down to the, the mossy shrine oh gosh it's not a lovely place is it a fell light burns the corner of the cave with added glow a horrible feeling comes to you something roaches an evil spirit has awoken good thing we're a minstrel <laughs> By the way, we get into new instruments later, so you guys have a particular instrument you want me to have and then while we're going through our journeys? Write in the comments. You cannot defeat me. Tonight the little dwarf king shall lover, but we are the ones who shall return to life. Evoked by the words lingering. Oh, scary. Bring the healing herbs to Elro here. Probably tell him about the evil spirit telling us horrible things. Can I just ignore this guy? Do you mind? I just run past him. <laughs> Catch me if you can, you corrupted spirit! Whew, you missed! Yeah, keep your distance, bone guy. Ew, he tried to like spit at me. Gross. Look, gross person. Alright, sometimes when you're in combat, you can't go through a door like this, but in this case, you can, and they just. They're like de aggro. Aggro means things are all attacking you. And if you de aggro, they, they go back to their spot they were sitting. NPC. Alright. Ah, huh? you will be a hero to those dwarves. Ah, you will be a hero to those dwarves. Ah, you have collected pure herbs. You will be a hero to those dwarves, Zolan. Tell me what you saw in the cave while I mix a solve to help the sick. You know, I notice, if you notice, that their voice has changed quite a bit sometimes. The voice actor themselves, for the different lines they do. 
again, they don't do enough voices in this game, though. Like, I always wish that it would just be a whole, like, have a voice actor do the whole entire thing. But that's cool, because that's why I'm here, and that's why the Voice of the Rings channel is here, boys. Remedy. A powerful remedy. These leaves can be crushed to make a powerful remedy. Do you smell the clean sap? It is the blood of the mountain striving to cleanse itself of corruption. Take this file, Zolin. I have drained enough sap to save those dwarves. If we can rally them in time, you too, your, our parties, our two parties should be able to rid Erdluin of the horrible fate that awaits it. I will not stand idly by while these fair, clean lands are poisoned with death. Go well, my friend. Hopefully, I will see you again when we meet to put a stop to this madness. I like the... Let me choose one. I'm going to do... Oh. Talk to Dwalin friends. Got it. Back to Dwalin. Back to Dwalin. Oh, sorry, man. I'm leaving. Whee. So there is a falling thing in the game. So if you fall a certain amount of distance, you break your leg. And you can't dodge. And, like, all the stuff are evade. And you're slowed by 60% for a certain amount of time. There's, like... Like five seconds or something, and then it's like 16 seconds, depending on how far you fall. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute, and then after that point, if you fall too far in the game, the mechanic is you you die. And in this game, you're defeated. You don't your character doesn't die. You don't like revive. You like are defeated basically, like in your own lore, and you get sent back to one of these revive circles. They look like stone entums. You'll see them later if we ever die. Hopefully that won't happen though. <laughs> I just say die, but again, it's you're defeated and you respawn. But we are Zolan Iron Shield. We will not lose. No, we will not. All right, Dwalin, we're back. We're back, Dwalin. Can this be? Can this be? By what miracle do you return with a rot to cure my poor dwarves? You are a valuable friend to have, Zolan. Please don't let me get in your way. Go ahead and give that remedy to the sick dwarves. I don't want to do the work. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, bogey. We got a bogey here. The healing effects are immediately apparent. They are immediately apparent. All right, we get it. They're immediately apparent, guys. They're working. This guy's really upset that they broke down Thorin's statue. I agree, 100%. Okay. Dead is dead, in my opinion. Dead what is, is dead, is my opinion. What nonsense. Now that there is hope for the sick among my company, we can deal with the more pressing matter at hand. What is the nonsense about Gorma wishing to raise Gorgrim from the dead? Dead is dead, in my opinion. You don't bring someone back. It sounds like Gormer has gotten some bad ideas in his head, and Eridluin has become corrupted in his hands. We'll take it back, Zolan. We're gonna take the navy dies. You can change color. Might you lend me leveled up, ear. boys! We're at level 7! Might you lend me an ear? We cannot allow that... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Can, we, can we hear that voice again? No. Will can you we... help me? Will you help me? We cannot allow the Dowerhands to resurrect their king with such foul sorcery, Zolan. They have poisoned the mountains and soiled the lands of Thorin. Gorma's fall up to the corruption is unforgivable. Come, let us journey to the tomb. The sons of Elrond are waiting. We will make a great stand against the Dowerhands, and they will think twice before falling to greed again. All right, guys. Let's do it. Ho oh, ho ho, we're doing an instance, which is like a, a dungeon, if that's a more term for you, but Lord of the Rings Online is instance. Huh. You have had a long had a long day, and more dangerous awaits. You should take some rest. There's a bedroll just over there you can use. I will wake you if anything happens. Use the bedroll, alright? Where's the bedroll? Is this the bedroll? Aha. The bedroll is more comfortable than you expected, or perhaps you are more tired than you realized. You close your eyes. You before long, you are lost in dreams. I actually don't want this is. Intro to signs. Let's do it real quick. 
we have time. <gasps> what the? Whoa! Zolin. Listen to, to my, my words. words. Oh, she's gonna do the voice. I, I'll let her do this one. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, friend dwarf. The friendship between our peoples has been strained, but I hope it has not been lost. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you. City of Tom, the dread land of Agmar stirs. Shadows once stretched from the magma to threaten Middle Earth. Who's I fear they will again. I'm assuming this is Gladria talking because it's in the dream of Gladria. The Bridge of Khazadun. It's the Fellowship. My mirror shows me much else I do not understand. Excited to go through the lore and quest in there. <laughs> yeah, we have some cool adventures ahead of us. Some of this may come to pass, one note of it. That is the nature of the power powers. I missed the last word, I'm sorry. All of Middle-earth is engaged by the return of Sauron. Rohan. This is pretty cool. I think that that is uh, Theoden and Aeon. I mean, not Aeon. Courage, if we are to oppose him. Lord Grima. Men, elves, dwarves, and hobbits, all free folk must stand together. Lorian. You are near to wakefulness. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is it's for one, one reason. Tree. That was pretty close. It was hard to get the woman's voice. Obvious reasons. I'm I saw you <laughs> in my mirror. Not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle Earth. There you have it, you guys. We have great adventures ahead of us. Do not forget my words when you awaken. The free peoples of Middle-earth will have need of you. You must not fail them. Completed the instance, Galadriel's dream. That was added in the last few years. It's pretty cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and end there for this episode four i think on episode five we'll take it up at the the adventure instance with dwellen but we're going to talk to him. 
That sounds a most curious dream. I've never have dreamed like that. I would not wish to have such... <laughs> it does seem a little bit scary. Alright, well we will be back. Have a good day, my fellow. Oh, we have a little bit of a problem there. Yum, 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 yum. We need a... Um, Zolan is feeling a bit hungry, a little bit famished. I think we'll eat a little food and then have maybe a little restful, a relaxation. And we will be back together in Voice of the Rings with Episode 5. See you guys then. Later. <laughs>